Yo, what's up guys? Video talking about Summoner's War Lost Centuria. This game is playable on emulator, so I'm gonna show you how I play it on emulator. So that if you're playing another mobile game, for me I play Summoner's War Sky Arena at the same time, then you can play this on emulator. And for some people, like you don't want to play two games at the same time because it's kind of time consuming and it's difficult to manage two games. Well, with playing this on an emulator, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna explain how. But I'm also going to explain why. So for the people that don't play Summoner's War Sky Arena, you can forget this part and just skip to whatever for like the uh, emulator itself. But if you're playing Summoner's War Sky Arena, you currently have this event where you go into the normal game, the event, and you're going to get a bunch of good rewards for actually. If you just like connect your account, then you already get a... Wait, is that one gone already? Oh. Because I already claimed it, it's already, you get a legendary scroll if you just connect your account, really simple. I think it's... Oh yeah, it's here. So yeah, you just connect that, you get that. And then the moment you start progressing through the game, you get like various rewards, including like Re-Up, Devilmon, which is pretty worth it, LS, uh, like LS scroll, bunch of other scrolls. So that is pretty worth it. However, this will take some time. You have to play this game probably for few days maybe a few weeks to get this all the way up to like silver one i think a few days it won't be like that long but a few days actively playing so yeah i guess for most people i would recommend to try to get the devil mon which is pretty cool and you get this uh profile which is probably unique to just currently so if you're trying to collect the unique get those so so let's look into how to get this on working on emulator so you have the game, you could play it on Bluestacks or Nox. Those are pretty common emulators, but the thing is Nox in general is pretty laggy. Even if you put the visualization optimizer on, it still can be pretty laggy. Same for Bluestacks. Bluestacks can also still be pretty laggy. The one I use is neither of those, which is a new emulator, which is called Moomoo Player. Um, I will put all of these links in the description down below. You just go to Moomoo Player global.com you hit the download button you get the file you install it you know how to install stuff by now it's just another emulator but the thing is it's very smooth it's very very smooth for like all of the animations it pretty much feels like playing on your phone it's not laggy at all for some reason all of these other emulators they, they get so laggy so as you guys can see, already have Mumu Player installed. Also what you can see is I'm network maybe monitored. That is used for the Summoners War Rune Exporter, which is another side tracking thing for Summoners War players, like the Summoners War Sky Arena players. This is what we use to extract like data from like all your free runes and those kind of things. I use Mumu Player with Summoners War to get that data most of the time, and that's anything I used the emulator for before, but currently I also used for Lost Centuria, of course. So what I did notice, if I have the proxy set up, because you have to get this thing set up as a proxy, if you have it set up, it will give an error to the login server of Lost Centuria. So you actually have to disconnect that proxy to make use of Lost Centuria or to, to play Lost Centuria. So how to get Lost Centuria or even Summoners War here, you would go through the Google Play Store or the App Store or anything, probably Google Play Store, and you would have to search the game. That's where I got into another issue, is I couldn't find the game. The game was just... It was loading up like a whole bunch of whatever things which are Summoners War related, but not the game itself. I don't know why this is. I don't know if many people would have this. But just in case you have it, I also give the solution. So what I did is you can actually look up like the, the APK or XAPK, which is the download file or the install file of the game. You can download that. You can paste that into the emulator, which is pretty easy with Moomoo Moo Player, way easier than with some of these others. In my opinion but the issue is a lot of these versions were like the Los Centuria 1.00 and 1.00 is the beta version and if you would install that one it will give you an error saying like hey beta version is already ended you can come back on release blah blah but it doesn't actually update to the correct version so you have to download a different version which is the 101 and because the game is just released at this moment that I'm posting this video Google doesn't index like all of these new versions as much as the old version. So therefore I will give the link of this website, which actually has the newest version. You can download that one. Moment you download that one, it's pretty easy. You go to the Mumu player here at the bottom, right? You have a uh, plus APK and you see like I use this for like a few bunch of like other like 
APKs as well. You just double click that, it will automatically start installing it and the moment it's installed, it will end up here. So that's all there is to it, pretty easy. Let's actually run the game, let's see how smooth it is. I did run this before for like the video, but I, my recording got like a little bit messed up for some reason. So let's actually see that. Also, if you already play the game on your phone and you're like, okay, but how do I get what I played on my phone, that account towards the uh, PC, let me show you that as well. So we have it running, as you can see in the Sparks. Do you see the Sparks? Not sure. Let me actually switch the camera. So it is asking, I also have a uh, game account on the Google Play or though you want to use the one that is on your Hive account. I'm using the one that's on my Hive account, so I say like, Keep, keep using the current one. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that message every time because you can have like multiple different accounts. You can have an account from your um, Hive idea, you can have an account from your uh, Facebook and you can have an account from your Google Play account. So I already put everything on low graphics because of course it does make sense that if you're playing an emulator which is not that smooth or you're playing on a computer that's not that smooth, you would put things on low graphics which I have done in this case. So first of all, to get your account here, you probably have to play like the, uh, what's it called, the tutorial battles. But the moment you're done with that, you can press like sync account and you can sync it by your Hive ID. First to do this, you also have to sync it on your phone by the Hive ID. And then when you log in here, you get the Hive ID and then ask like, okay, we already found like a safe system or a safe file. Do we want to import that here on this device? And then yes, so that's that. For graphics, you can lower the graphics to like the resolution and the quality, so it's a little bit lower. It does look a little bit pixelated because of the uh, the fifty percent. If you switch that to a fifty, it looks like less pixelated than the the previous one. So that's it's not even the quality, but it's more like the resolution that makes a little bit sense. And my mouse is tripping. I have to buy a new mouse. I got this Razer Naga first uh, edition still, so it's been there for a while. It's been there for a really long time. So let's actually go into one of the dual matches just to show like how is the lag, how how is it looking and that kind of stuff. I did put my fan speed on a little bit higher because it was actually lagging. My laptop doesn't like me to record this and play it at the same time because my laptop is a little bit outdated. But it's just to show like what does it look like in game and if it's still like pretty playable because this game was when it's lagging it's it's pretty unplayable that's what I noticed so let's see how it looks right now okay still quite a bit laggy to be honest so this is normally not what you really like but do believe me that while well, I'm on the edge of like a laptop that can run this with an emulator, I guess, and this is pretty much as good as it gets for um, playing this on an emulator. Issue is, however, if I'm recording this at the same time, it just goes like, hey, I don't like this, man. Please, please stop doing this. You're torturing me. So if you want to play this game on emulator, I do recommend Momo player, it's probably not gonna get any better than this, so... And if I would stop the record, it is definitely fine for me to actually normally play this. So, that's it for this video. I uh, wish I could show like a little bit less game, <laughs> less laggy gameplay on this thing, however. Which is apparently not the case. And as you can see, if you're lagging, then actually putting the uh, skill cards out is pretty difficult for some reason, so... This is a game that doesn't work that well with lag, and uh, yeah, so best emulator to use probably is this, but yeah. So yeah, actually the moment I turned off the Streamless, because I use Streamless for recording videos as well, it instantly started moving smooth again, so yeah, that's one of those things, it's like, I guess you gotta believe me on that, so... It doesn't take too long to get this all installed, so if you want to try it out on PC and it's lagging even worse on the other emulators, which is pretty likely, then Momo Player is probably your best bet. Um, well, and if it doesn't, well, you wasted a few minutes, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's about the case. Uh, too bad I won't be able to make videos for this game then that much. Also, I'm not sure if I will be playing it um, 
a lot. I will definitely get all of the rewards which are contributing towards the normal Summoner's War game or Summoner's War Sky Arena. The usual Summoner's War game. So, we will see about that. Also, streaming this will be a little bit difficult right now unless I get an upgrade for my, com for my computer. We'll see. Another option, of course, is playing this on my phone and mirroring my phone which is of course a lot less laggy but I did have some issues because this game is currently not available in China I'm currently still in China and therefore yeah I can't really run it and for some reason VPN gave me some connection matchmaking issues so unless that gets fixed I won't be able to play it on my phone in the first place so that's why I moved towards emulator and therefore at first like they said like okay it's supported by Bluestacks, but Bluestacks was pretty laggy for me. I also have Nox, which is also pretty laggy for me. And then I have Mumo Player, which actually worked perfectly fine, as long as I don't stream it. So that's it. <laughs> Maybe you can play it on Mumo Player as well. We will see either how. See you in the next one.